cooling system. In this section, we will introduce the cooling system. As we all know, many IT devices are installed in the equipment room. As the current trend is for faster processing speed, larger storage capacity, and smaller sized units, the heat dissipation per unit area is growing. Therefore, precision air conditioning is becoming increasingly important. There are distinct differences between air conditioners in data centers and those in residential buildings. Firstly, we need to consider the difference between large sensible heat and small latent heat. Sensible heat causes the temperature to rise inside the computer room. Latent heat does not change the temperature of the computer room. It only affects the humidity in the air. Precision air conditioners are designed to manage high levels of sensible heat, heat without humidity emanated by machines, while comfort or standard air conditioners are designed to manage latent heat, heat with humidity emanated by people. In this way, the cooling effect of a precision air conditioner is more effective in this scenario than a comfort standard air conditioner. The main advantage is that for a large volume of air, there is a small enthalpy difference. The larger the volume of air, the larger the refrigeration range. The smaller the enthalpy difference, and the more energy savings. Other benefits of the precision air conditioner include non-stop operation and all-year-round cooling. In addition, there are multiple air supply and return modes. These modes include up supply down return, up, up supply up return, central supply and down supply up re return. The Huawei in row air conditioner adopts central supply mode and the in room air conditioner adopts the down supply mode. Plenum chamber air supply. Supplying and returning air in the computer room usually uses the lower level of the elevated floor or the upper level of the ceiling as the static pressure box. The stable pressure layer in the static pressure box makes the air supply uniform and the height of the static pressure box should be elevated to the highest possible point as much as possible. There are strict requirements for temperature and humidity. The higher level the data center, the more stringent the temperature and humidity requirements of the computer room. Based on the scale and total capacity of data centers, there are currently two common solutions, an air-cooled cooling system and a chilled water cooling system. In general, the chilled water solution is primarily used in extra-large and large-sized data centers and the air-cooled solution is usually used in small and medium-sized data centers. We recommend the air-cooling system for computer rooms smaller than 500 square meters. For computer rooms with an area between 500 and 1,000 square meters, we recommend using the air-cooled or chilled water cooling system. For computer rooms sized 1,000 square meters and above, we recommend the chilled water cooling system. Many factors should be taken into consideration. This picture shows us an air-cooled cooling system. And this picture shows us a chilled water cooling system. The air-cooled precision air conditioner is simple in structure offers easy and quick installation, and is cost efficient. However, the coefficient of performance is relatively low, and the distance between the precision air conditioner and the objects to be cooled must be short. Otherwise, the efficiency of refrigeration is substantially reduced. Concerning heat transfer, the chilled water cooling system is more efficient. There are th 
three cooling configurations. In-room air conditioner, in-row air conditioner, and in-cabinet air conditioner. The in-room air conditioner aims to refrigerate the whole room. It is designed for a low-density data center, and all cabinets share refrigeration redundancy. This method is simpler and more cost-effective. For smaller computer rooms, the cabinet is placed anywhere, and there is no special planning and containment for airflow. For a larger and more complex data center, an elevated floor may be used to send the wind to a carefully planned heat channel or cold channel to guide the airflow and adapt it to the cabinet. The in-row air conditioner aims to refrigerate the entire row of cabinets. Compared with traditional in-room air conditioners, the airflow path is shorter, the power of the fan is reduced, and the efficiency is improved. This advantage is very important because for many small load data centers, only the power consumption of the fan will exceed the total power consumption of the IT load. In-row air conditioners use their refrigeration capacity to achieve higher power density. An in-cabinet air conditioner is installed inside the cabinet. Compared with in-row air conditioners, the airflow is shorter and power density is higher. That's all for this section. Thanks for watching.